First, the Tri-Cities Heritage Development in Harlan County. It's $8,000 to create a sustainable business plan, create web pages to introduce businesses to the community, develop an internet presence, and conduct a technology needs assessment of the Tri-Cities area of Cumberland, Benham, and Lynch.
in our region. And many of those plans now have been executed as you're hearing, and the projects, many of them, are now complete. But I'm really excited about what I hear, about uh, bringing the community together around common uh, interests and goals, and then setting about a way to make that take place. Uh, that's the way I like to see things done, and that's what this center and ARC have been all about. These uh, many grants are proving to be more than uh, a financial relief to uh, many small counties and towns. Uh, they're often, as you can hear, uniting city and county leaders and creating strong partnerships for that common goal. And that's not an easy undertaking. In our communities and counties, uh, historically, we, we, we like to quarrel. Fight and argue. And uh, there are jealousies. Basketball and football competitions, cheerleading competitions, whatever else. But uh, we are learning that if we grin and bear it and pull together toward a common cause, great things can happen in spite of the normal uh, jealousies that uh, exist in our communities. In 2008, uh, Bell County uh, received $33,000 through two ARC mini grants. And as Lonnie has said, the leaders of Middlesboro, Pineville, and Bell County have come together uh, to create a progressive and effective community based strategic plan to lead the county through the next 20 years. Uh, Bell County Judge uh, uh, Albie Brock has said that without the funding and the professional guidance provided through the partnership between the center and the ARC, none of their economic development plans would have been possible. And I expect I can say that for any number of you. Uh, I was especially impressed with the Corbin uh, regional approach, a very progressive community uh, that's got its act together, as have uh, the others. So these partnerships that uh, these grants foster between ARC and the center and you and then you throughout your communities is all important. Last uh, fall, uh, the center here hosted an all-day collegiate summit. 48 uh, students from uh, southern and eastern Kentucky uh, represented 15 Kentucky and Tennessee colleges and universities. They uh, brainstormed, uh, they discussed our region's problems in education and employment and other aspects. They have great ideas. They uh, agreed that it's imperative that we participate together uh, in the development for solutions for the future of our communities. Today, uh, the center is, uh, and ARC is awarding $54,800 in additional ARC mini grants to six communities or organizations in our region. This is seed money. It will support your efforts in creating a community strategic plan or an implementation of a portion of an existing plan. This is the first of two rounds of funding. The second, of course, will come this fall. So today we're trying to finance again the uh, imagination and visioning of uh, many of you. Uh, and uh, we are trying to guarantee that your dream is not just a hallucination. We want to see that dream come true. So thank you for the great work you're doing and the great work.